given that hydrogen produced from renewable energy sources produces no carbon dioxide. It is generally considered to be one of the most promising solutions for powering an airplane with zero emissions. However, using hydrogen for flight is a challenging undertaking that calls for creative approaches to distribution, storage and propulsion. Though they would need a little more length, hydrogen aircraft would seem visually comparable to conventional planes. Propellers would probably be used in smaller aircraft, and the electric propulsion to drive the propellers would come from hydrogen-powered fuel cells. Larger aircraft might run their jet engines on hydrogen. According to a paper on hydrogen, Powered Aviation published on June 22, hydrogen might be utilized to power a commercial passenger aircraft for up to 3,000 kilometers of flight by 2035. A medium-range trip of up to 7,000 kilometers should also be feasible by 2040 or later, leaving conventional aircraft for long-range travel alone. A short-range flight plane should be feasible by 2035, said Dr. Bart Biabwijk, executive director of the Fuel Cells and Hydrogen Joint Undertaking, a European public-private collaboration that co-commissioned the paper and aims to speed up the commercial launch of these technologies. This implies that hydrogen-powered aircraft might be used to connect all of Europe's major cities while operating on European land. The ambitious plan calls for 40 of the aircraft fleet operating in Europe to be hydrogen-powered by 2050. Achieving these objectives will depend on many factors. To carry enough liquid hydrogen in airplanes for these trips, hydrogen storage technology must first and foremost evolve. It will be necessary to develop new methods for delivering hydrogen to airports to allow aircraft to refuel on runways. Additionally, redesigning the interior of aircraft will be essential to figure out how to include all the equipment and tubing needed to power commercial aircraft on hydrogen. Nothing significant has been done with integration yet. Dr. B.I. Buick said that will be a difficult task. Furthermore, many standards, norms, and laws still need to be prepared. For instance, what would the requirements be for aircraft hydrogen tank testing? Many of these studies have not yet been completed. Nonetheless, advancements have been made in the technology that underpins hydrogen aircraft. Boeing flew the first hydrogen-powered aircraft in 2008 from an airport close to Madrid, Spain. It was a single-seater that demonstrated the viability of the technology. Furthermore, the first four-seater hydrogen aircraft was launched from Stuttgart Airport in 2016 by the University of Ulm, the German aeronautical research agency DLA, and a business named H2 Fly, one of the top aircraft producers in the world. Airbus has disclosed that it is working on a fuel cell engine that runs on hydrogen. This might be a viable way to power the zero-emission aircraft that the company plans to put into service by 2035. Air travel will never be the same thanks to this jet engine. On November 30, 2022, in Toulouse, Airbus disclosed that it is working on a fuel cell engine that runs on hydrogen. One of the possible options being explored is equipping its zero-emission aircraft, which is expected to go into service by 2035, with this propulsion technology. By the middle of the decade, Airbus plans to begin both ground and flight testing its fuel cell engine design on its zero-demonstration aircraft. Liquid hydrogen tanks and the distribution systems that go with them are now being added to the A380 misknown flight test aircraft for new hydrogen technologies. According to Glenn Lele Rullen, VP of Zero Emission Aircraft at Airbus, fuel cells are a potential solution to help us achieve our zero emission ambition. We are focused on developing and testing this technology to understand if it is feasible and viable for a 2035 entry into service of a zero-emission aircraft. If the technical goals are met, fuel cell engines have the potential to power 100 passenger airplanes with a range of around 1,000 nautical miles at scale. We are providing ourselves more alternatives by investing in this technology going forward, which will help us decide on the design of our next zero aircraft which we want to begin developing around 2027-2028. Because hydrogen produces water as its main byproduct and emits no carbon dioxide when produced from renewable energy, Airbus chose hydrogen as one of the most promising choices to power a zero-emission airplane. Hydrogen may be utilized to power aircraft propulsion in two different methods, 
first by burning hydrogen in a gas turbine, and then second by generating energy from hydrogen using fuel cells to run a propeller motor. In a hybrid electric design, fuel cells rather than batteries may be connected to a hydrogen gas turbine. Scalability is made possible by hydrogen fuel cells, increased power output, particularly when they are stacked. Moreover, a hydrogen fuel cell-powered engine emits neither NOx nor contrails, providing even more advantages for dec For a while now, Airbus has been investigating the potential of fuel cell propulsion systems in the aviation industry. Airbus and L. Rinklinger a business with more than 20 years of expertise as a fuel cell systems and component provider, formed a joint venture in October 2020 that they named a raw stack. Airbus unveiled their pod idea in December 2020, which included six detachable fuel cell propeller propulsion units. This idea is a concrete step in the right direction for the use of hydrogen fuel cell technology in aircraft. These fuel cell systems are positioned to play a significant part in the aviation industry's continued efforts to lower its environmental impact and contribute to a more sustainable and eco-friendly future for air travel since they provide a flexible, scalable solution with low emissions. Airbus also said that it has partnered with CERN, the esteemed European laboratory for particle physics, on an innovative initiative via UpNext, an entirely owned subsidiary of Airbus. The goal of this research is to look at the potential function that superconductivity, a state-of-the-art physics concept, may have in the decarbonization of aircraft systems in the future. Superconductivity has the potential to significantly improve the effectiveness and environmental impact of aircraft propulsion systems due to its exceptional capacity to conduct electricity with almost no resistance. In addition, Airbus has revealed its creative disruptive lab project, which entails using an existing H-130 helicopter to create a new flying laboratory. A variety of cutting-edge innovations intended to improve overall aircraft performance and drastically lower helicopter carbon emissions will be tested in this flying laboratory. Airbus is showing its dedication to lessening the environmental impact of air travel by actively funding the research and development of greener aviation technologies. Another significant step is that Airbus and Highport, a joint venture between Engzi Solutions and the Occitani Regional Agency for Energy and Climate, EROC, have formed a strategic collaboration, leading the way in developing one of the world's first low-carbon hydrogen production and distribution stations located at an airport is this partnership. Earlier this year, the building of this hydrogen station at toulouse blagnac Airport was successfully finished. The production, storage, and distribution systems of the station are now going through their last stages of testing. An estimated 400 kg of hydrogen per day will be produced at this state-of-the-art plant. This substantial capacity is a critical step towards sustainable airport operations by enabling the use of clean hydrogen to power a fleet of around 50 ground transportation vehicles. Additionally, Airbus and Safran jointly control the well-known joint venture Ariani Group, which specializes in space propulsion technology. Together, they are driving the construction of toulouse blagnac Airport's first liquid hydrogen refueling station, which is specifically constructed to accommodate Zero-E aircraft. By 2025, it is anticipated that this cutting-edge hydrogen refueling station will be operational, easing the transition to more environmentally friendly aviation by allowing hydrogen-powered aircraft to refuel and take off in a more sustainable and eco-friendly way. But both this is a big step toward becoming carbon-neutral aircraft, and it shows how committed Airbus is to setting the standard for sustainability in the aviation sector. What are your thoughts on this? Tell us in the space provided for comments.